What's up, everybody? It's Heat Override, and are you ready to bring the pain this week for Dr. Roto and for all of you? I know this is the 18th week. It's a championship week, apparently, for a lot of people. So if you're still in a league, tell your commissioner next year to change it to week 17 because last week's headaches were really a lot to deal with. This week's headaches are even bigger to deal with. And, you know, injuries are happening and all that stuff. But let's get to it. We're talking IDP seasonal stuff. We're talking hard hits and cool picks. Oh, yeah, for the NFL's week 18. Yeah, we'll talk for a second about fantasy teams at the end. But, man, let's do a review of last week. Man, who pulls out Chris Barnes? Again, the only IDP expert in the industry that is spitting names, hardly owned anywhere, and they hit every single week. I told all of you at the beginning of the season, I made this new podcast and this new article to challenge myself because my IDP hits of the week was just easy. So I upped the ante. I added three more players a week and I hit on all of them, right? So Chris Barnes, check. Kirby Joseph, check. Jartavius Martin, check. Poiseed or Ukun, ah, <laughs> check. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's how you work the pain. I know y'all was waiting for it. I know you was waiting for it, weren't you? You were just a little bit. Man, one of these podcasts, I should do some ooh, yeah, and bring the pains. You know, I should probably did that on, you know, New Year's Eve. Probably should have went live then and just been like, you know, had some kind of little game like that. But that's, that's getting off topic. Let's get back to it. 58, 7, and 2. I'm going into this last week. And I'm making sure that I'm going to hit every single one of my guys to get over 60 wins in one season for my articles totally combined. That means exactly going back to week one, having four starters, three from the hard hits and cool picks article. And then, of course, my heat check of the week on my IDP heats of the week that usually drops Friday, but they got it right now. So you don't know when it will drop this week. But I will tell you this, you will have every single article that you need this week from DrRoto.com. So head over there right now and get ready and get to the subs only discord. If you have a week 18 championship or you had a bi-week championship, which means, you know, you played last week, you're up, you're behind, you need some points, you need to go all out. Well, that's what we'll do. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the new one. I'm going to go back to the well, 30% owned, Robert Spillane. He's been getting it done consistently every single week. He's had beast games. And, man, the Vaders got nothing else. They're playing the Broncos. The Broncos are a mess. The Raiders are a mess, other than what Devontae Adams did last week. Yeah. Yeah, finally showed up. But, hey, whatever. I guess that's what happens. He still won me that money, man. I hope he won you that money as well. Right? But, man, Spillane's going to get a lot of play. And both these teams right now don't really have anything to play for. I mean, we know that they're not going to the playoffs. All right? We already know that. So, I don't care about no chances or anything like that. We don't care. Right? So, with that being said, you're going to get one of the linebackers that has played his heart out this entire season. So, why not cap it? Robert Spillane. Let's roll over to Cody Barton for the Washington Commanders. I mean, he's still under 20% owned. And he's, I mean, on top of Kalik Hudson just smashing, the only other guy that's smashing on that defense is Cody Barton. And Cody Barton has been in it every single week. And I, I've given you a red skin for three weeks straight, maybe four weeks if you go back with my original mentioning of Kalik Hudson. However, with all these linebackers going in, they got nothing better to do. They have nothing better to do. So why not just keep playing Cody Barton? And then that way, you can just win your championship and just be safe. Plus, right now, a lot of people may have dropped him or he may be open. So if your linebacker is taking this week off or he gets sat you uh, or you hear that he's going to have limited snaps, like not a lot of the big linebackers, like we all know EJ Speed and Zaire Franklin are going to have to play we see Foy said Oluokun has to play, right? So all those linebackers have to play. TJ Watt has to play. I mean, Pittsburgh has to win. And I mean, that goes for the Bills too. Bills got to win too. So these players are going to have to play in these games. 
that's giving you guys like, you know, Terrell Bernard as so all this together, that's what you're going to need to win your IDP championships and your matchups this week. That being said, let's move over to a 4% owned linebacker. Just came back from an injury not long ago. He's there. He's ve- definitely solid. And his team likes to score a lot, of course. Blake Cashman of the Houston Texans. 4% owned right now, right? And at the same time, he is about to heat up. There's just like We already know the Titans are coming, right? So that means a lot of Derrick Henry, no matter how poor, miserable Derrick Henry's play is, he's still going to run forward into a lot of people. Let's hope that that one person that he runs into a lot of is Cashman. That guy right there literally can win this week for you. And 4% of the league's owned. If you play it, play it for cash with cash, man. Oh, yeah. I know you didn't see that. So, again, get to Dr. Roto. Get ready for all the content that's dropping. It's week 18. A lot of us have already won the big money or already going home. But, hey, there's a lot of DFS. So you will be getting all DFS articles all for the re- for this season. And then when we get over to the playoffs, we're going to have a talk about that. Of course, you know, you're going to have to check out the podcast. My podcast will be all DFS related the way they always are. So you're going to have to check out the Bring the Pain podcast. And you're going to have to check out the Ultra Contrarian Show as well. Because after this week, my IDP shows are done. So this is going to go away. But don't, don't, don't be scared. Bring the pain will always be there. Yeah, get over to my Spreaker. And you got to follow me on there so that that way you can get a lot of the off-season content along with following us at drrodo.com so that way you can get all the off-season content as well when baseball starts up. I usually don't do a baseball podcast, but we will see if I get one in the works this year. Because I do the Sunday write-up for DFS while everybody else takes care of the other days, just the way my schedule is. And, you know, that's what's going to, that's what we're going to look forward to. So maybe something a little bit on Friday night or Saturday for you. Until then, let's get to the fantasy teams. How'd your one and three teams do in your championship third place game? I don't know how I won my championship, but I am so happy I won this championship. I have won, I have two leagues. And just with a bunch of friends and a bunch of people that know how to play fantasy football. I mean, it's really annoying. I had like the best team five years out of 15 years, literally just lose. And I've lost so many championships in this league. It sucks, right? But I finally won. Finally won. Heck, my wife's even won this trophy. And in our league, I've won that trophy. She's double hosted two trophies. She won this league, which I'll also say is the ESPN league. And she won the Yahoo league at the same year. She got the whole both trophies. Like, I never did that. But, you know, it's kind of cool you, the, the, in the, everything, and it's making it going that. But how my third place games go, I crushed. Crushed each one of my opponents. It wasn't even funny. And what makes me even more matter is that the championship matchup, There was I could have probably put both those guys together and they didn't score more points than me. Boy, that kicks me off. But, hey, you can't win every year. I still won all of my league fees for next year. And a lot of extra trash to go on top of that. I hope all of you have done that as well. Because I know none of y'all care about my leagues. I want to hear about your leagues. Get to Dr. Roto. At Dr. Roto. Tell us how you did. We have so many screenshots. So many thank yous coming from everybody in all of the chat rooms. It has been it has been so good. Because that is really why we do this at Dr. Roto. You hear this from everybody else. But at Dr. Roto, it's truly a reality. You know, I didn't have, he didn't have to ever give me a shot, as you heard about on my 200th episode of Bring the Pain. He didn't could have went any other way. He could have picked any other IDP guy. But why Doc has me on his staff is because I'm one of the wildest DFS players out there, and I'm one of the best seasonal fantasy football players out there. Don't get it twisted. When I played with the best in the Scott Fishbowl 11, I took down the best. And that's how we work the pain to the competition. Win your league. Get your tackles. Get your points. Get to the website. Join us again. And don't forget about the baseball content coming up. But don't forget about the basketball and the hockey content. Mark and Kick have been killing it on the hockey side. And, man, Mike and Jay and just the list goes on on the basketball side, especially college basketball. 
You have to get there. If you want to win money, there's only one way to do it. You got to stop by the office and get your prescription so that you can bring the pain to the competition. Oh, yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Happy New Year. And may the points be with you. Oh, yeah.